home safely. His brother didn't look all that well, though. Hello, hello. I hope everyone is having a good day. I also sat down without something to drink. So you get to come with me as I grab a beverage. And also move a bunch of shit so I don't trip and kill myself. warm. I have the windows open because it was only in the 70s earlier, but now it feels really warm. And I think it is uh, one o'clock. I need to make room in my fridge. There we go. Now I've got room. I can fill this water bottle. Or maybe this water bottle because I can't find the top for that one. for the water ASMR, but it's warm, and I'm trying to be better about drinking water. So, huzzah. You get water ASMR. Well, I fill up a bottle and put it in the fridge. And I'm talking to air anyway, so it makes no difference. Great, and the fan's not even blowing on me after all that.
himself. We were just a <laughs> I promised you. It's None of this would have been possible without your help. We'll be using his level. The steel, meanwhile, will be tempered in a fire only the solution charmed out of old Zoltan here. And that wet stone from the outer isles. So all of this had a purpose. And the final flourish will be my talented colleagues. Who are you two people? Save that talk to the things finished, yeah? Right. I'm ready if you are. To the bellows it is then. Oh my god, these two. Got a damn it on design draft. Ooh, fancy. One second, I'm just doing a thing. I don't know why I'm saying sorry, there's like nobody here talking to me, so that's fun. I never 
Anachronism. The best. That was very loud. to pay me a visit. <laughs> you reckon we finally got to the first time? Happy Sunday. We wouldn't be black for if he didn't give us the Oscar. How's your Sunday going? Uh, I cannot go in there. It's going to bug me. Pretty sure that Chocobo is not listening to you. I'm okay. I'm, uh... I'm trying to knock out these... These side quests before I go back. Ooh, what's for dinner? Marker over your head. We brought everyone together. Uh, since we brought everyone together, all is absolutely wonderful. Conrad and Natalie's hands are safely away from each other's throats, and firmly at the helm. Our stores are full, and it's still too disorganized to raid them. Just as the good Lady Jane and Lord Underhill intended. Bo's going to be one too. They're going to make him the Lord of the Dam. Cause I can stop all the birds. Ooh, nice. It's the mayor of Dalamil, dear child. And the vote hasn't taken place just yet. I had to think about dinner. It's 1.30 here. My first act was to go to school so that menaces like you two are not to interrupt your elders. Speaking of menaces. One just over the horizon. May there indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences and presenting them to the front. Move this fan. <laughs> have elected to take a similar approach. They have a lead of cowboys. Oh, that's fun. If we continue to work together, we can overcome the challenge we choose to face. Looking for something to nibble on. Our best hope is to knock these opposite organization in the bud. Perhaps a certain lord Oh, you are? I did not realize that. I don't feel like turning on the oven, even though it's like... ...cooled down significantly. I'm stationed by the desert gate, receiving and reports from my staff. Oh, 
Oh, so you're doing like traditional, traditional Sunday dinner. Wow, these kids. A league of outlaws. Sounds like we have some competition. Still in Dalamil, Victor. I thought you'd have returned to Costco. Oh no! How are you making? Hence my doing his bidding yet again. You're not the only one. What does he want you to do? He asked for my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. I was going to speak with Conrad about the forces. There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. But we must strike together, and we must strike soon at as many camps as we can. Not what I wanted. to rally its forces. Which camp shall I take? There's one up river. Just over there, across the dunes. Leave it with me. Ugh. How are you doing dinner then? Like, turning on... I don't have to turn on the oven. I think I would just weep. Sorry, I cannot get the airflow just right. I turned off the AC because it went down to the 70s, but I cannot figure out where to put this damn fan so that it's giving me air, but also not blowing really, so it's not causing problems. I just have the one portable AC unit. Dwells want to band together, let them. They'll be no Okay, my lights need to not do that. Sorry, my lights are flickering. Alright. And I have no idea why. It's over. Where am I going this way? Oh, rude. You know what? Fuck you. I'm trying to leave. Goodbye. You son of a bitch. Too slow.
Oh, I used... Yeah, and this enemy is seven levels lower than me. Well, <sighs> cold snap seems to be working. That was oh, that was a nice breeze. Yeah, yeah they are. Oh, I need to go back to town, I think. Oh, but I'm so close to my goal. Yeah, I just got like a real nice breeze. I was like, oh, hello. Um... It, I think it helps that I'm on the second floor too. That must be the camp Vic dimension. Come on then, Torgal. Come on, Torgal. That's him. Okay, they are. Y'all are ten levels lower than me. Oh, rude! Why did you just hit me? Oh yeah. Hey, Leif. How is your afternoon going? Really? Y'all are like literally 10 levels lower than me. I didn't want to use high potion. I really didn't want to use high potion. Not you sounding like I choked you out. Or I hope you can enjoy today, Leaf. It is like It's weird It's muggy but it feels worse in my apartment Hold on I'm okay but it's I need a new headphone solution For streaming from the console because the headphones I'm using are headphones I'm using are like
Jack's escape, and his escape route took him right through there. Some of the children spotted him and was about to silence them. And when Lubor Well when the world believed he should have been a slave. You're right. Can I tell you how much I love the fact that Clive is like, fuck. Uh, I didn't sign up for this. close at hand for just such an occasion. to change them to do something. and quickly convince them that their prejudices blind them convince them that nothing has changed why well, i gotta convince them i don't even go here i'm glad you agree i'll handle the townsfolk i'm a downmeg born and bred they listen to me Make Conrad and Natalie who Lubor really is. If they kill Lubor, I'm gonna be so mad. I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. Lord Underhill of Randalar's leading merchants is a trusted and impartial mediator of note. I'm sorry, did you miss where Clive was not convincing? Stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but we'll try. And that is all I can ask of you. <laughs> Why are you taking the He knew all along that he was playing us. Seen your face before. Lord Underhill, wasn't it? Of the League of Merchants. Uh, right. I rumors that he's a bearer. He'll never bear all. Public. Leniency? He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. Close his forge? Perhaps. To get involved. Well, I tried. The townsfolk have made the right. There was nothing I could do. Nor I. I refuse to consider anything but their own wounded. You never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. For now, we should report back to Lubor. All right. Why the hell would 
Victor take the bearer's side. Seeing the situation is hopeless. There's still hope. But perhaps not in this lifetime, I think it's fair to say. You mustn't think like that, Lu Bo. Give them time. They'll come around. Oh, you idealist, you. Results would be better spent elsewhere. Yourself be true. <laughs> An ironic one when you consider that her life is <sighs> the world we are making. Ugh. But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself and what she believed in. <laughs> I must do what I know to be right, no matter what others might think. And now, I know what that is. I must embrace my new role of villain so that the people of Dalamil have something to unite against. For only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits them. I'll need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. Don't go, Lubor. You're the only one who's ever kind to us. We'll be all alone. Again. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the town, but for you, too. It's only two o'clock, it feels late. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their minds. They would not take it, Victor. It's over. And so just like that, they need to throw this town and these children to the wolves? I thought you were better than this. It seems you are the Wow, Victor. Forget it. Do what you will. Wow. Are you sure you're making the right choice, Lubo? Of those available to me, I believe it's the best one. Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? All for clearing out that bandit camp. Right then. I have packing to do. If there's anything I can do. Wait, you're not going to offer him a place in the hideout? Thank you. That's fucking sad. I hate this. Time to find a merchant. I don't like that storyline. Anything I can interest you? Oh shit, diamond dust.
Ow. I don't like that mission, y'all. Chat, y'all okay? Everybody's so quiet. Lightning seems super effective on those. Jump down there? No. Tag nab it. Oh boy. I deeply hate the whole Oh boy. Cold is super effective. Why is 
my counter going up? I went the wrong way. How goes Meridu? How's your Sunday going? I too have done some chores. Partner was over. Got a bunch of stuff cleaned out. Got some groceries in for the few days I'm home this week. this node okay I see you node I see you oh rude okay it's like that it's cool 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 I might have picked up too many side quests. Ow. Ooh, woof. I think it's inside the city walls? residence here in Northreach. The High Cardinal. Leader of the Council of Elders, second only to his radiance at the head of the Imperial government. Not that any of those things still exist. He goes by his noble title, the Duke of Oriflam. And what does he want with Northreach? He wants to transform it into a military scheme. The foundation upon which to build a new Sambrek. He's already secured the support of the various armies. He that they shall be afforded the respect they deserve in the confiscated property of the people. 
stated aim is to revive the Empire Felipe and to improve the soldiers' lot within it. The captain can offer them a regular to help them forget the terrors they face each day. Any attempt to Given the mood of <sighs> mutiny, the people have little appetite for further deprivation. It serves only to elevate others. Who could blame them? Would you appeal to the Duke? <laughs> you have the respect of the soldiers. For those of you streaming the chat, what do you do when it's super hot and you have over ear headphones? I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Clive. Tell me then. Where will I find this Duke of Oriflam? In the garrison? Overseeing the troops. All right. Wish me luck. Oh, Clive. I may have met this Duke before, at the remembrance ceremony. But I have a strong impression. That's not where I need to go. Halt. Oh, sorry about that. You're the dame's man, aren't you? You got some business with the captain? No, actually. With the Duke. I was hoping I might be able to speak with him. We're under orders not to let any civilians pass. But you should be all right. His eminence has heard all about you and your heroics. Wait here. I'll go last. Oh, boy. So, you are the sellsword who lent his aid to the garrison. The Empire owes you a debt. I shall see it repaid. But tell me, is it wealth that you seek or favor? Neither, Your Eminence. I thought you wanted to inquire about your plan to turn North Ridge into a stronghold. Ah, I see. You are worried the expanded garrison will render your services redundant. Yet you need to be. Old fighting man like yourself shall always have a place here. Pride of place, in fact. For too long has the contribution of the noble soldier been underrated. But no more. For it is they who shall see the holy empire rebuilt. Oh boy. Right here in Northreach. Why here, you friends? The town has been fortunate enough to escape largely unscathed troubles. Her defenses are sound and her garrison well prepared. 
which is set for Oriflam or Twinside. The Empire wants for a capital, and I believe Northreach to be the perfect place. Mm. Care Norvent as her citadel. Once we have seen to the refortification of both the town and the castle, we need only build a wall around both to create a city in the envy of the twins. Plans are already underway for the construction. Soon enough, these thralls shall learn that they are no match. Well, about that. <laughs> you underestimate how dangerous these creatures are, Your Eminence. Should to come together in defense of the town? Something they would be loath to do if they've been deprived of their worldly goods. The people do as their leaders command. If Sandbreck is to be rebuilt, one whose authority is beyond question. That is why this levy is necessary. So that any man who wishes to join the army might do so and be fed, outfitted, and paid as befits a defender of the Empire. And yet there are those who persist in peddling the treasonous lie that I seek to steal from the people and drive them from their homes. I suspect they're afraid of losing what little they have left. Deprive them of even that. You would sow the seeds of your new empire in your own sotted earth. Well, we have discussed this. Yes, and I told you then how the empire before the citizens would lead only to the world. Well, about that. <laughs> Is that what Griga wills for her people? Do not take her name in vain, Sabine. This sounds like a personal problem. I'm leaving. I wonder what the people really think of the Duke's plan. It wouldn't hurt to ask them, I suppose. Oh my god, not one of these go talk to people quests. Oh my god. Can I tell you how much I hate this? Wow! Chat, what should I do for dinner? Could be trouble again. All right, there. What is it you're after, sir? Just your opinion, actually. I wondered what you thought of the Duke of Oh, yeah. None of us trust. It's thanks to Nathan's the shop this side. Couldn't have the right to get any closer to the Holy Capital. He's trying to drive us out completely. Threatening to take off and clear off. So she wanted him run out. Well, shit. I just think. A question, if you don't mind. What do you think of the Duke of Oriflam? Started. Tell you, you gotta hand it all over to him. If it's him and his chance to, right to empty our purses, he's in for a rude awakening. We'll do whatever it takes to keep what's ours. Whatever it takes. Well, okay then. It sounds like dude has no clue about what the people want. Oh, gee, that sounds like our current government. Pick your country.
hearing a lot of talk about a certain duke. Nothing good, I'll wager. Very bad, acting like he owns the place. And with hardly a word to the dame, this is her town, not his. I take it you'd rather she was in charge? As far as I'm concerned, she still is. Just need his eminence to sod off back to Oriflam. What about the soldiers? Dominion's all but done for. So chat, partially to get conversation going, but also I'm just curious. What do y'all think of quests like this where you gotta go talk to a bunch of people? Do you think he was the only one who survived? Because I kinda hate them. You're the one who was talking to his eminence. On the dame's behalf, yes. I was trying to persuade him not to take the people's goodwill for granted, but... It seems my words fell on deaf ears. What do you think of his plans? I'm a soldier, mate. He tells me what to do. Not the other way So I've got nothing but respect for the dame. I've got a family to look after. That's where my loyalties lie. Not with the town or the empire but with my wife and children. If the Duke can get us some men and the equipment we need to fight off those blue-skinned bastards, I don't care how he does it. Yeah, there's just like, let's go talk to these people. Oh, can't go that way. I just feel silly. Like, why am I going to talk to all these fucking people? Excuse me, do you have a moment? I wondered if you'd mind sharing your thoughts on the Duke of Oriflam. Well, <laughs> he's made a lot of enemies coming in. Yeah. The traders put on them. They volunteered to things got bad. Maybe they wouldn't have to. I think the Duke's got a point when he says rebuilding the Empire is the best way of making sure we're all protected. And if people don't come one end of a saw from another, have to make way for those who do, it's just a Mmm, interesting. I don't know, I just feel weird and slash goofy running around talking to these people. I'm like, aren't I also supposed to be keeping a low profile? Like, why are y'all talking to me? Yet everyone, half people seem to know that I'm Lord Rossfield. to turn this town into a sort of fortress. Do you think that's a good idea? It's not for me to say. All I know is that unless the Emperor... Hey, Puddle, thanks for your resub. How are you? No one likes all these taxes and tariffs, but empires don't come for free. Once Sandbrack is back on her feet, we'll all reap the benefits. Ooh, nap. I should have napped. Welcome back. Wraiths give you any trouble. Captain, do you have a moment? For you, certainly. Clive, wasn't it? Thank you for the last time. How can I help you? I wanted to ask you about the Duke of Oriflam. I intend to go along with his plan. But to tell you the truth, tonight, it's my sworn duty as a captain of the Imperial Army to obey his orders. But I can't say I agree with him. I became a 
soldier to protect the people you loved. The day me did it. That's right. I did. Well, she doesn't agree with the Duke's orders either. She thinks they could turn Northreach apart. And she's probably right. Thank you, Clive. I know what I need to do now. Is what matters. Doesn't matter how. Well, duty calls, so I better go. Thanks again. This was weird. Oh, Sandrak. I expect Isabel will be pleased to hear that, if nothing else. Oh, the Mother Crystal, it's gone. It just feels like weird running around for the sake of running around. There's probably a reason, but I just don't get it. Not yet, anyway. as much consolation to the town's people as the people who have been confiscated They deserve to be heard, Clive. They have a say in this new world that he plans to build. So the Zemanites values their obedience more than their opinions, and hopes to reassert the authority of the state. Well, that's fucked up. ...the different opinions. Destinies were in your hands. The soldiers were content to follow their orders. Not just because of the Duke's rank, but because of his vision. I thought as much. I dare say I too would want nothing more than to see it rise from the ashes. Thank you for trying. But the battle is lost. I don't know about that. What happened to your uniform? I handed it in, along with my resignation. I wished them well, but that I owe it to them so I have to be in the day. Aww. Because I realized what really matters to me. Not following some nobleman's orders for a second, but protecting what I care about. Protecting my I don't know when those monsters will return, but I'm certain I'm not finished with them. We need to be ready for them. We need to stand together, all of us. And with you to lead us, my lady, I reckon we can do it. It was you who finally convinced me, Clive. Against everything you believe. All of us standing together. That has always been Northreach's best hope. And one which still lies. Well, Chad, I don't know what to do for dinner. There's nothing I have that's quick to make. No, I take that back. I've got tikka masala, but it's like one of those quick frozen ones. It's not. The lads from the Vale. His eminence has left it in mind for the guard. I'll be right back. I'm gonna take a quick break because I got a very I'm going to take a quick break because I got something I need to attend to and it's also been a little over an hour. So hang out. Um, 
and I'll be back in three to five minutes. I'm going to send Clive back to the hideaway. I think that's all. Oh, nope, that's not all my side quests. All right, we're going to go to Balklad. Hey, Dennis, how are you? Um, but I'm going to take a quick break. Enjoy hanging out with Clive at the Balklad markets. Um, and I'll be back in a couple minutes. I'm good, but it's really hot. Like it's muggy. Not so much actual temperature. But I'm also drinking wine, so it doesn't help. But hang out, BRB.
I'm back. I uh, went and got a quick bio, got some water. How is everyone? Hello, hello. Sorry about the wait. Oh, do I have everything I need? Yeah, isn't it, Dennis? Is it like muggy hot? Thank you, Meridew. Okay, I've got all my potions. I'm good. Uh, Clive, your timing is impeccable. It just oh, I'm so sorry. That's the worst kind of hot. Yeah, I'm probably going to get a couple hours in, maybe three. And then I'm going to figure out dinner. I may come back later. I may not. Also, let me know if stream is okay. My internet's been tweaky today. I had to reset my router twice. None remain free for long, of course. I just got it, Dennis. And finds itself unable to provide for its new charges. Precisely. It's the perfect opportunity. Okay. Yeah, my partner was here earlier, and while he was here, it just kept dropping. We have nowhere to house them. So we've been searching for a place where they Okay. Enslaved once more. We have found one. Um, because I, what I've noticed too, is sometimes my laptop likes to connect to the extender, not the actual internet. You'll help, won't you? How could I refuse? Dennis, are you going to PAX West or or TwitchCon? Of course, leave everything with me. You will find a village in Oh, I'm sorry, Dennis. Right. Wish me luck. So I have booked a room for TwitchCon. That is all I've done. Because, um... Work has to approve any panels I'm on anyway. Um... I didn't like Vegas when I was there. I know who God who was it I know that lives there. Um What's his name? Levangi fan lives out there. And I just I went for dice. I did not like it. Also, people can still smoke in casinos. And I thought I was going to hack up a whole lung. <sighs> really? Is it just you're not feeling TwitchCon in general? I don't know. For me, for, so for me, TwitchCon is still work. I wouldn't go just to go to TwitchCon. And I say this as someone who's been streaming for going on nine years and has been a partner. This is your six of being a partner. I have never understood the attraction to TwitchCon as a streamer. Maybe as a fan of streamers and you want a chance to meet them, maybe. But I ain't a fan of nobody like that. So maybe I'm just weird. 
Like, if I want to see my friends, I want to see my friends. There is nobody I'm that excited to see, honestly, where I would do, where I would go out of my way, fly four and a half hours, spend the earth on a hotel. What about y'all in the chat? Um, I will be at PAX uh, West, though, Dennis, and I'm planning on Unplugged. So, hopefully I'll get to see you. Also, am I going the right way? I am not going the right way. Wait, where am I going? I am absolutely not going the right way. Look at me getting turned around. I'm starting to worry about chat. Y'all are so quiet. Hey, y'all, Shane Gamer. Okay, I need to be down there. Okay, can I jump? Happy time. Good time zone. How are you? Okay, the game will not let me jump. Game, please. I beg you. Let me just jump. I can summon whole ass demons, but I can't jump. Here he is. Oh, absolutely. But there's also the fact that this, the panels are streamed for free. So... I like Gen Con, but again, for me, cons are work. I don't go to cons just to go. I've never gone to cons just to go except maybe C2E2 because it's here. I can go to sleep in my own bed at the end of the night. I ain't got to get on a plane. I ain't got to go out of my way. I didn't realize you were that close, Puddle. I mean, I can... I'm driving distance. Oh, God! Uh... But even with Gen Con being driving distance, it still costs me close to what it costs me to go to PAX West to go to Gen Con. And... Gen Con is a three and a half hour far drive. I can leave early in the morning and arrive there by like noon, depending on how early I leave or train or bus. And it still will cost me close to whatever. I spent on PAX West because if you want to be close to the convention center now for Gen Con, you're going to pay through the nose for a room. Farewell. I guess it depends on what you're looking for out of a con. Are you looking to see your friends? Are you looking to meet like streamers or what have you? If that's your bag and that's what you want to go for, maybe see the area where the con is, it might be worth it. Like if TwitchCon had stayed in San Diego, I'd have booked my flight. I'd be like, I'm off these days, deuces. Because I can find stuff to do in San Diego. If I want to gamble or see a strip club, there's plenty of that in Vegas. Because 
uh, there's stuff you can do in in San Diego, or I can take the Amtrak to LA and go kick it with friends, stay a couple extra days. Like I can make a vacation out of it. Vegas, I was so ready to go home after Dice. I was like, I hate life. Oh, thank you for pulling the CW, Mezzo, but uh, right now I'm not in anything that should require a CW. Okay, let's go here. I'm trying to clean out all of my uh, side quests before we hit the main quest again. Oh, it's still expensive, Reese. It is still ridiculously expensive for me to go to cons, even if it's work. Those are our terms. I trust that you will give them your full consideration. I shall. Let's see. For transparency, when I went to Gen Con last year, my hotel was covered. But between meals, chipping in on gas, because when you go to a con, you're eating out every meal, unless your hotel does free breakfast. But enough about him. I should go and take this now. I think for transparency, the last time I went to Gen Con, out of pocket, it was still close to like 1500 because I upgraded my room. Like they gave me a decent room, but I upgraded it. I, I chipped in on gas and stuff like that. Because you're gone for six days, basically, at least for me. There's no real getting there the day it starts, because you can't with really Gen Con. I suppose we'd better finish the job. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure our offer for the bearers is accepted. We're still in negotiations. We are. A trusted has been dealing with the fist on our behalf, but things have been... TwitchCon I split with Chris last year, so I'm, I don't know if I'd use that, but like... Four packs west. I'm in about 2,500 before I even got there, because my flight was expensive. My hotel is, with taxes and fees, is going to be about 1,600. All the same. And most of that's going on a credit card. I'm not paying that just straight up cash. Most of my con expenses go on a credit card, then I pay them off as I get paid, or I get paid for events normally. earlier the one speaking to my sister he represents the yeah but it shouldn't cost that much Reese every, every trader in Darmakia has they operate across the and they're still expanding for some time now Judging by her reaction earlier, I'd say she had half a mind to accept their latest offer. Oh, absolutely. I've planned conventions, Dennis. And I would never deny her such an opportunity. Eloise saved me from slavery. And we have striven to save others. But this was not the life my sister wanted, nor the one she deserves. I won't let her go for my sake. Oh, a little chocobo wiggle. You're a good man, Theo. I have always been grateful for what my sister did for me. And I want to repay the favor by letting her live her own life. But each time an opportunity to do just that arises, she turns it down. 
Oh, Dennis, did you hear me about PAX West? Although that's coming up fairly soon. So if you haven't planned already to go. But also, if you want to get into tabletop things, uh, PAX Unplugged's media badge request is open. I trust that. You'll be pleased to know that the negotiations are progressing well. Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me grab that link because I shared it in my Discord. Where did I share it? I know I shared it in my Discord. Ah, here it is. I mean, granted, if you're not doing any tabletop stuff now, it may be harder to get, but Badge and Hotel is um, available. No, I didn't mean to cancel. No, I meant to say yes to your quest. Ah, uh, Clive, you'll be... That is good news. Yes, but I still... You couldn't... Absolutely. and ask El how long we have until the bear is oh you're welcome I would say if you're not sure even if you're not sure book a hotel because it's not till December that way you've at least got a hotel book and if you decide not to go all it's going to cost you is uh, canceling your hotel I think the Marriott, where a lot of people like to go, is already full, but... This is their fault, not yours. I know. No buts about it. Is something wrong? Ronnie came to give me a message from the intermediary. The talks with the Republican army are falling through. Do it! Yeah, if you, if you look at PAX Unplugged Hotel, you should get a link right to it. But the consortium offered double what we did, and the army jumped at the chance. And you had no opportunity to make a counter None at all. And we were so close. I And with good news. Even find out about this. They have ears all over the Republic. And at the price they pay, the buyers will be full of too. I'm going to round up myself. Alone. I'll send an hour ahead and request a meeting. Even if I fail to free these bearers, there will be others. Hey, Tori, how goes? Well, I am definitely there. I'm, I'm submitting panels. Um, for cash look, even if this one comes to she needs to stay with us then. I can't say I'm not happy to hear it, but is this what she really wants? You have to trust her. You're right. It's what she wants now. And if Hell's off fighting for the cause, I should do my part too. So I bid you farewell and safe travels, my friend. I'll gather my men and for cash and make sure the place is well stopped and defended. You go to Randala and see if you can stop my sister biting the consortium's heads off. If she won't consider her prospects, I'll do my best. 
I would say at least apply and get your name kind of out there. And uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do, RE tabletop stuff. Good, I am still in side quest heck. Uh, every time I think I've cleared a side quest, another one comes up. And I'm just like, oh my Jesus. I would deeply love to be done with Bokhlad and all these places. So, I'm trying to finish this off. Trying. But it feels like every time I finish a side quest, I pick up two more. And I'm about to just say F y'all in side quests and go do the main story. But I also keep accidentally finding hunt creatures when I'm not ready for the fight. And I'm just like, you know, I was minding my business. I was here just chilling. And yet... Here comes these creatures just waiting to, like, knock if you buck. Like, can I just have, like, five minutes, five, where I don't get another quest? Like, like, what's that? What is this creature? You know what? Whatever that is can stay up there. I don't care. Like, no. Yeah, the Camaro was a surprise. I'm like, I wasn't trying to play Monster Hunter today game. Did you arrange to speak with a consortium? Here they are now. You wish to consult with me. Okay, why do you look like Zoltan? Just from the fist. We had all but finished making arrangements to buy them ourselves. And then you stepped into the fray. You misunderstood. The consortium had an interest in purchasing them from the very first. It was only our regard for you that kept us from bidding. But your hesitancy in accepting our offer to you suggested that the regard was not mutual. Oh. I did not hesitate. I am simply not inclined to make such decisions without first giving them due consideration. But what is done is done. Come then. How much do you want? Alas, you are too late yet again. We rarely take on such unconventional merchandise without a purchaser in mind. This whole buying people casually is not okay. A trader from across the water. Most of the fellow, if it's any consolation. He insisted the bearers be fed, dressed, even given their own bunks. It's not good when deal with continental types. Wow. Oh yes, the culture on the continent is different to ours. They pay good money for bearers not fit for the knacker's yard, and treat them like kings. But as long as they pay. That does sound unusual. No matter then. If they've already left our shores, Allow me to withdraw my interest. And with it, my interest in joining your organization. My associates will be sorry to hear that. This whole casually buying people, I'm not okay with this, y'all. I'm sorry you weren't able to save them. As am I, but I only have myself to blame. He was willing to The Silver Peak Consortium did intend to buy those bearers before I did. Their representative hinted at a possible purchase when he came to recruit me. I found interest in joining them in the hope he might be encouraged to tell me more. And he did just that. As soon as he left, I sent my own offer to land him. So you never... No. I entertained the Consortium's proposal solely so I could learn more about those bearers. But I was a fool to think they wouldn't find out. I knew exactly who I was dealing with. You tried. I did. And if what he said was true, the bearers are to be being treated. Which is sinful, at least. I, I 
wanted so badly to see them freed. Eloise! Eloise! Word from Cashlock. The village is under attack. A pack of beasts have come down from the mountains, and there's a dragon at its head. I'm sorry, what? To hold them off as best a dragon. I'm gas. Thank you, Clive. I'll gather some. Oi. Yeah, her color scheme actually works. Can I fast travel any closer to where I've got to go? Yes. Yep, time to go. I don't have time for you. I keep forgetting I have a full health, full bar. What? I can't jump down there? That's bullshit. Game, let me jump down. Jesus, fuck. Ugh. I hate this. They can chase me all me all they want. I am not fighting y'all right now. I got other things to do. Game, there's clearly a path. Let me run down there. Yeah, yeah, I know they're gonna come to life. I don't care. Nope. It's time to go. I got things to do. You can tell when you're tired of side quests and you're like, nah. I'm gonna let y'all have that one. Hold on, where the fuck am I going? I have gone entirely the wrong way. Shit. So how's everyone's Sunday going, or Monday if you are elsewhere in the world? Over here. Sick him, Torgal. There we go. Four. Ooh, woof. Okay. I feel that puddle. 
my kitchen is only clean because I had to clean out the fridge. I'd hit that point of, you're gonna be gone a few days. You might wanna take care of this refrigerator. Oh my God, I keep missing the area. How? Okay, I am very confused about how I get here. I'm about to give up and just go do the main quest if I keep getting lost. Okay, that's the way out. I found my way out. Okay, so I need to go left. I feel that puddle. I hope they never have to come in my unit anytime soon, because right now it's still a disaster. From, uh, when I tried to... Nope, went the wrong way. How do I keep missing this turn? This is so irritating. Well, the area I'm going to is, like, on a lower level than where I was starting. So that was part of the issue. So it wasn't just that I had to go. I had to go find a way to go lower. Damn, what did the goblin do to you? Your anti-goblin agenda. So I keep... I kept missing the turn, basically, to go down. Much like me driving IRL. I take that back. I am... And I got turned around. I went right back out the door. Good job. Yeah. And you see, after fighting the goblins, I still got turned around, so... But this is gonna let me jump for some odd reason. Which I don't understand. Y'all let me jump two stories here, but not when, it, when I could've just bypassed this whole bridge. Oh, we gotta fight a dragon? With me. I'm a dominant. I don't need to worry about it. Um, I speak coming there and install fiber. Oh, nice. But you'll have fiber, though. I need to see if fiber is an option. Because I have Comcast Business, and they just, what they want for business fiber is obscene, but as an individual, I don't know if it'll be the same cost. I wouldn't mind fiber. When I inquired on my business account, they're like, yeah, it's like $600 a month. I was like, fuck. And you. Also, we're in the desert. Why is ice not having more of an effect? Well, I have a business internet account, so I'm already paying way too much for the service I get. The quality is shit. For what I'm paying, I am not getting the same level of quality I should. Nice. 
I still pay internet out of I need diverse games. Cause that's why that is what my business would be. And I do write it off. But if they're if they're putting fiber in your building, will they switch you to fiber? We got frail fighting dragon. I may call it after that. I wasn't expecting a dragon today. These creatures have already turned. As I did not expect a dragon. Theodore before that dragon does. If I gotta find an Akashic dragon, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. This isn't going to be easy. Too slow. Oh, it's like that? Cool. Rude! Oh, this is like the sub-boss earlier. Gotcha. Enjoy dinner. Are we staggering? Cool. Oh no. To me, boy. Bruda. Here we go. Sorry if I'm not super talky, cause I'm trying not to die. Help me. 
Help me, boy. That was a whole lot. I was like, Miscusey? I did not expect a dragon today. Dennis, are you gonna be playing Baldur's Gate when it comes out Thursday? Theodore, you had me worried for. Oh no. Oh no. What do you think I'm streaming this so much for? Hey, Lauren! Yeah, this is the brother. Uh, this is an NPC that we've become attached to. No. Hey, Lauren, happy Sunday. He's the brother of an NPC we've been helping. We have to fight him? No! No! I don't want to fight him. I was having a hard day. Why would she come down here? There's so much ether. Oh, that was a punch in the face? Jesus. Wow. How's Diablo coming for you, Lauren? Jesus. Thank you, Clive. I think I'll be all right now. You sure? I don't know if I'm going to be okay. True brave. I wonder what people outside think if they hear me. I have all my windows open. Yeah, he's gone. Because I sent him to that place against his will. It wasn't against his will. Nice. It took to show you he could stand on his own. with 
the choice I made. Oh no! Did they hear? They could hear you if you're on Discord. Were you not wearing headphones? tried to drive him out of the house and into the care of the constables. But before they could. Theo told us something else. She threw a great devotion to the cause of free Cathedral Captions Dungeon? Or do you mean that for Lauren? Just as you freed him from his. Wonder from time to time how much easier my life might have been if I had allowed Theo to be taken and devoted myself to the Can I get your neighbors instead of the one I've got? I've regretted the decision. Damn, this is sad. I made and the fact that I would make the same choice again in a heartbeat. He would never. How could he even think that? If anything, I was the one who made him down. You weren't Eloise. Damn. He saved himself. He could always be grateful to you for saving him. And he wanted to repay you by letting you know you I need to catch up with people on D4. Lauren, are you going to play uh, Baldur's Gate 3 as well? Are you going to wait for Xbox? I'm a little concerned because y'all are brother and sister, and this sounds more. Oh, I'm sure. I'm absolutely sure. I need to log into Idol Champions. Because Baldur's Gate 3 characters are coming to I Idol Champions, and I'm so excited. Are they in yet, or is it, or is it not until release? And caravans to continue our work. I couldn't pop into Discord because I was in meeting heck most of the week. So I missed whatever event was happening in Discord the other day. The romance. Bearers get where they need to be. <sighs> Alright, who's trying to get into my Microsoft account? <sighs> Thank you. Let's go on together then. What was the event in Discord? Was it the romance uh, bracket? Because I saw it and I wanted to go, but then my day was full of meetings. Right? Like, even where does science? All right, is there anything else before I go back to the hideaway? There is. Oh my god. What? You know what? Y'all are out of luck. I don't care anymore. Whatever that is can wait. That was so fucking sad. Like, why do they have to do do me like that? Yeah, but you also know how I feel about, well, 
Discord thing, so. Oh, do we have new things at... At, uh... Who has something new? I don't know. After the way people reacted and treated Fen and me at that at Fen's release, I keep Discord at an arm's length. Which is sad because I do like the game. I do really enjoy the fact that I've got two characters, but people. I don't know, for what's supposed to be an idol game, some people take the game way too serious. And that's not a reflection on you or any of the staff, it's some people... Vin Ursa is his champion? <gasps> oh! Well, I, I don't want anyone to ever feel like I'm ragging on them. If I have... Not even critique of the game or the company, of, of the fandom. I don't know, and it's just the fact that it it re it reinforces the they don't see us as people. Present to you the whole parasocial thing. Cause there's a lot of well, you're just in here to promote your character. Well, yes, that's why I'm in here. But also, I do actually play the game. Really, my bag, sir. That sounds dirty, Clive. Improvements to it, yeah. That sounds dirty, Clive. Reckon you could loosen it up and make some more. We know how. With a new I need to I'm not sure. I'm unsure. Everyone seems to compliment Clive's looks. So I'm never sure where they're going with it. That sounds like he's inviting you to the kink club, Clive. Oh, Lauren. Um, I was thinking th my Thursday when I get into town is totally free right now, other than going to get my badge. Depending on what you and Dan and V have going, I love to like get dinner, hang out, or maybe go to Mox or something. Depending on what you all have to do. They mention it. You earned it. And I wanted to get some practice anyway. Reckon we'll have all kinds of uses. I know V has something planned for Wednesday night, but I'm not sure. So one of my friends has written a really nice Clive Gav fanfic. One day. I don't know. I don't know if I would get into writing for this, though. You mark my words. No worries. Um, yeah, I've only got a panel Friday and a panel Saturday, and then Monday I need to move out to the hotel by work. Other than that... And I think a coworker offered to pick me up. Oh, I get to carry eight potions? Yes, please. Give it to me. Also, let me save because I never want to do all that again. All right, let's do a little bit more main quests and I'm going to call it for now. Hmm. I have tickets to the Nintendo Experience on Monday. That Monday. So if my ticket starts at 10, I'm basically going to be up early. I'm going to be packed and ready to check out and then just go over wherever wherever Nintendo has their thing. Oh my god, I love it. I shared it at work. I absolutely shared it at work. I 
Uh, no, I'm not doing this right now. No. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Come to claim your just desserts. Here you are. Well, I know it's supposed to be at the new convention center, wherever that may be. I don't know. Although I booked my hotel based on last year, so that wasn't bright of me. All right, let's let's do some. S what does she have? Because she annoys me. You. Allow me to educate you. The Grand Duchy of Rosaria. Okay, this is very MMO ish, and I do not like it. Oh, the Moogle's adorable. They're probably like, where have you been, Clive? We've been waiting 84 years for you to bring your ass here. I run all over this fucking realm. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of Pepiona. Still alive, are ya? If you have asked be quick about it. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. I don't know. I keep forgetting I have elixir. You're rubbing me blind, you know. I keep literally forgetting I have elixir. Oh, if it is, then that will be great because I booked walking distance to the old convention center. Um... My brother's like, where the hell you been? I thought about the Grand Hyatt, but I've been racially profiled in that Hyatt and I hate it now. You must listen to this. Lawsman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before our Well, it inspired me to go into the subject. And what I discovered with the final Oh, those are my teeth. Its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I know where to find an example, one that will reveal all we see. Chance to hear of the circle of Malia. Ow. You have, but there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the twins, and though its popularity eventually waned on Storm, <laughs> remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. That has to be the most uncomfortable chair. I just realized there is no cushion on it. Repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. Rose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us, though in this case, it would. Not <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. In good hands. Oh, is that the building where Geek Girl Con normally is? I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Oh no, this is giving do all your shit now before you leave Final Quest. Okay. OK, 
Okay, so it won't be bad. I just wonder how it's gonna be split up. By now you've all heard the details. Only the important ones. If we attempt to approach the sea, there's a chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for the I say we, but it's highly likely the entirety of Ash is going to be the world of Altima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention, as well as slow our march and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be there. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? Yes, I do. I might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps. Once you've dropped us off at the ship. Oh, Gav is so sweet. Fly merchant colors and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But why hell am I leaving anyone behind? The ship ain't going nowhere to are smiling on death. The Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. Stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. We'll be boarding passage home, after all. But... Very well. <laughs> this is very much giving, like... Y'all better get all your quests done, because once you leave, you ain't coming back. Although that side quest irritated me, I now have way more space in my bags. Yep. Here we go. Here's the talk to everybody in case you don't make it. Alright. Let's go talk to Otto. Because if not, I'll never hear the end of it. to kick off whatever long mission cinematic we get and I'll probably call it because it's almost four and I'm thinking about dinner not at all honestly can't a man wish his friend farewell I thought it was so close to the end Lauren I was very wrong uh, and I'm trying to start going to the gym tomorrow so I'm also not trying to be up super late and actually get up and get my ass out the door. Do I want to do this side quest? Fuck it. Leave no side quest unturned. Because it's going to bug me to see that side quest. Crossfield, is there aught the Undying might assist you with? Oh, nice. I was thinking about one of those um, exercise bikes you can use at your desk. But I don't think it'll fit under my desk. And scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Fallen dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. And I need to remember to pack workout clothes. Because if there's an LA Fitness in Seattle, I can actually go to it. I've got the membership where I can go anywhere in the country. Or I know the Sheridan has a gym. Would that be possible? Of course. A survey has been conducted not far from here. A small hamlet built around a fallen airship. 
Oh. How is that, Lauren? Would consent to do so in my stead. I'm sure that they would be honored to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. That's the kind of thing I'm looking for, but I don't have much space under my desk. Might I suggest you take the road through to the to escape to the village after but a short walk. Thank you. I will. I wish you a safe journey. May the Firebird's flames burn ever in your heart. Oh, okay. Um, if you don't mind, can you send me a link to it? I can't have you all keeping secrets from me, can I? Because if it's if it's that portable. All right. Um. I might have to look into it. Because what I'm trying to do is start off slow with, with swimming three times a week. And I'm debating if I want to try to swim on Friday. But then my swimsuit would be wet. I also forgot I need some other stuff. I don't have swim goggles. Thank you. I've never gone this way on this map, so this is all new. New path unlocked. And this seems to be a dead end. What in the actual fuck are these? Are you serious? Uh, at at my gym? I don't know, actually. I uh, I haven't gone much because of the pandemic. I was going, but then then the pandemic happened. I probably just wear like wear my glasses to the pool, to the gym, and uh, oh shit, is Gav with me? I know Gav was coming. Uh, actually, I don't know. I've, I'm gonna guess it's probably chlorine. Hey, seven. How's your day going? Or is it is it still like your daytime since nighttime work hours? Oh my god, why are you stuck in a wall? Lauren, exciting news. Seven will be at Unplugged with us. And, um, I'm plotting my panels, so I will definitely message you. I think a, a bunch of us... A bunch of us are planning, um... Unplugged. I've booked my room. I still need to work on my panels, and I have not yet booked a flight, so. Alright, I, I was doing well. I am so not where I was trying to go. What the absolute hell? How did I even get there? 
Oh, good. Uh, that'll be awesome. Oh, so I need to turn immediately. Good job, me. Not following the plan. I don't even know how I got over there, y'all. Really? This thing is also like seven levels lower than me. How is it even a challenge? similar panels and I know one of the panels that was submitted for West is very much an unplugged type panel um, I'm hoping DC can go because I'd love to talk about producing an actual play kind of thing um, but also, I really, really, I really want to have a panel now because I am a petty asshole um, about the drow and about the ways in which players of color are sometimes, quote unquote, reclaiming them. Because there was a panel I watched for an uh, analog game conference. And the presenter was a British white woman. And at the outset, she admitted she was not in her lane. And cited Fen, um, the way that Matt has reimagined the drow in campaign two and three. Um, as well as how Erica played a drow in something on Dimension 20. And I really have feelings about that because it's clear this woman had no clue why I decided to play a drow at all. And I don't want to be the asshole that makes a big deal out of it on Twitter. Oh, I almost went the wrong way. Lauren, she was like, well, I don't have the lived experience. That should have stopped you right there. Uh, when you send me the link, I'll send you a, a link to the YouTube video. Because there are people like, oh my god, you're mentioned in this chat and when I, or this talk. And I'm like, she could have left my name out of her mouth. I was not happy when I saw it. B. Dave and I did a talk for Analog last year. Um... And it was well received. And we talked about Motherlands and kind of why we did it. But these are, it's going to sound bad, they're academics. And they, they I feel like they study, act, some of the people study actual play as an idle curiosity. Versus us being performers and developers. And I just, I was not okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I shared it in Eugenio's mod chat, since most of us are POC in that chat. And I was like, I need, I need Andraste. Actually, Seven, can you grab the... Oh, wait, you... I need to give you VIP or mod here, because I just realized... Okay, someone's really trying to get into my Microsoft account. Sorry. I've gotten three codes. Three code attempts. For... My Microsoft account while I've been streaming. No, I sent it to Fair. I didn't put it in Eugenia's mod chat. Hold, please. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'm wondering if it's someone who doesn't know their email address. Because when I kept getting them last time I changed my password, it's someone hoping that I don't have 2FA on and they'll just get sent a code. But they have tried multiple times today, whoever this is. Uh, there is the... I just copied it whole cloth from my message to Fair because I posted it elsewhere too. Um, her talk starts at 8.15, Mark. And she starts talking about drow and then she jumps to hypersexualization of femme drow. And I'm like, the fuck are you talking about? Like, I am real lost once once she starts talking, and I'm like, maybe this is where you should have stopped your talk and reconsidered, you know? Oh, yeah, how's D4 going? I always missed it because by, Sundays after Rivals, I was usually kind of fried. Wait, are you all are you on the show permanently now, Lauren, or y'all just still virtual? Cause I thought D four was in person. I'm way behind, apparently. Ah, shiza. Clive, what are you gonna do? Okay. Okay, I'm so confused by this. say are you like in say it's their leader oh nice oh no Oh, so y'all are just remote then, or... Sorry, I'm asking questions, and then I'm like, I can't look at the chat, because... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bit ridiculous. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, I think... Come on. Uh, here we go. Oh, that's fun, Lauren. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like I have, I have nothing going on with Rivals done, and a lot of people who talked a good game about, oh my god, I'd love to play with you, sure have been silent. So, yeah, it does. I'm gonna have to go buy more potions before I advance the story. Should have stayed in the past.
Shiro's colleagues. So when I see you in person, that is an over drinks conversation, or once I see you in person convo. So I'm I'm feeling a way about the RPG TTRPG community. You are Lord Rosfield. And some people who uh, apparently are in their feelings over on Blue Sky about things. So. Occupied their attentions, thanks to them, and to you. We were, for a mercy, to see our duty to its conclusion. You call that a mercy? Your brothers would still be alive if they their safety. So I want to see Dan, too. We are charged with uncovering the projects. A duty of the highest import, as I'm sure you will agree. And you think your dead brothers would agree with you, too? I know they would. They gave their lives for the cause, an honor to which all undying aspire. Maybe I'll ask V and maybe I can do a, a room at Mox on Wednesday night, depending on what people are feeling. See if Raph can... Oh, today's Raphael's birthday. It's Dr. B's birthday. Um, I don't know what to give him, though. He's so obstinate, won't tell me what he wants. ever in your heart. As it does in ours. Do you know if Gorin has gift certificates, Lauren? Like Gorin Brothers, where he buys hats? But for a survey, forgive me. The Undying live by a very different creed, and nothing we say will change that. Let us deliver their findings to Cyril. Not their deaths. Yeah, because. Raph is ever... What do you want for your birthday? You don't have to get me anything. I'm like, sir. I feel like they do, but I could be wrong. And if I just send him money, he may fuss at me. Oh, that'd be fun. I also need to do my annual giving as chair. I have not done that because <laughs> collected your colleagues' preliminary. You and the same way. All right, let's try to advance the plot a little bit, and then I'm gonna go figure out dinner. I shall study them and inform you forthwith. Might aid you. Ooh, good to know. I don't know what email he uses for Gorin, though. Losses which could have been avoided. I don't think he uses his work email. Were these your orders? He's gonna yell, but I'm gonna send him a gift card. Uh, work also matches donations, so. Once I get a little extra cash on hand, I need to do my annual giving. Starting it. So be it. Even when death is avoidable. I fear that this is Oh, okay. Okay, good. It's not tied to an email like some gift cards. Perfect. Perfect. And your opinion of our methods, however earnest, is We live to serve the phoenix. It's his fault I started buying those hats anyway. Time to turn the tables. Cyril. I needed you and your brethren answer only to Joshua. It does not further the cause of the phoenix. Without good reason. Provide your survey parties with an escort. That they might live to do their duty for years to come. Think not only of how you can serve the Phoenix, but how Joshua would want you to serve him. For all our sakes. Ah, uh, yes, but for those who don't know, Dr. B. If you will permit me to explain, our faith in his grace. <laughs> Will do what 
we believe is right to fulfill. I want to play in a game with Orkira again. I miss Orkira. Alright, I sent you. I also sent you the pack shoe form. I think V filled it out already. You know, if somebody wants me to bring a version of Selyse along, I will happily do so. I'm sad I only got to do one Idol Champions Presents. With Selyse. Ooh, I've got a bunch of points. Alright, where is... I don't have ignition. Judgment bolts. Oh, okay. No, that's perfect. I missed your comments. So I need to check and see why I didn't get them. Where is ignition? Oh, I d I've used all my points, so I cannot do anything else. Google Forms are no is not great about mailing you when you actually have something. Uh, so I got some emails. I did not get every... I did not get an email for everyone who commented on it. But there's also a Google form that I, I made, Lauren, so I could just have everyone's info and I don't have to chase people when I'm ready to submit panels. Torgal, the best boy. the cliffs you took her icon She understood. Oh, shit! What the fuck? I understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you die without her power. How dare you make her choose? Holy shit. She'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. Jesus. Are you 
used my gift. Because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save us all? I do. You slugged your brother for no reason. Good job. You're not alone. I found us a trail. Right? that Joshua didn't. Like, what the fuck did you hit him for? Oh, Gav, his voice actor's so sweet. He's been sharing fan art and fanfic online. Because someone has done beautiful art shipping Clive and Gav. And it's lovely. over there looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? The fact that Clive's voice actor did the Barbie meme thing, I was like, aww. Right? Gav's like, I, I guess I'm just gonna go then. Remember what I said about Are we just walking in the front door? This is a wee bit. I knew I smelled something. Ah, Diamond Dust, my favorite attack. Oh, beautiful. Let's hope the villagers made it out in time. Rude. Oh, that guy. Hey. Oh, no, Oker's oh, father. Like, how do we not burn down the whole forest when we do this? Bye. Have a good show, Lauren. I'm super excited to see you in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. I'm going the wrong way. Fire resistant sap. Mm. 
love diamond dust so much. Oh, I wasn't sure was if there was something I missed or Oh good. Phoenix is back up. Oh, it's like that, I see. Yeah, I, I didn't see all of chat, so I was a little lost. Sorry, y'all. Oh, boy. Yeah, I was a wee bit preoccupied with chat. Let's save. I don't know how much more main story we'll get to, but I at least wanted to start it. Clive, you have two hands. Please use both to pull down levers. There's a welcome after all, Clive. Okay, that sounded like Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, good, a high potion. Oh boy. You know what? We're just probably going to let that be today. I was not trying to have that fight. Is the whole of Ash fallen into Ultima's hands? No, thank you. You should send a warning to the others. No. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Us and it. Oh no. Not the Anesta Slaver in Monsters. Clive, you must go on ahead without me. I'm sorry, what? This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate. Perhaps older. And if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. Stay out of trouble. I always do. Mostly. Oh, Joshua. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a long sequence, so we're probably going to save here. Of course. Mostly. Because I'm also hitting that point of, I should really think about dinner. Oh, Clive. Yeah. It's hard to tell which way is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village called Eastler. Then we make our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. And we're gonna do that maybe tomorrow. Cause it's been about three hours and I've hit my wall. We're gonna see who's on. If I come back and stream later, I will tweet out, y'all. But for right now, I need a wee bit of food. 
Who's on? Leaf 7. Do either of you have people you'd recommend? Because I normally don't stream on Sundays. Let's see. Deckard Games is on. I don't know if they allow raids, though. I do not want to raid anyone playing Fortnite. You're welcome, Atari. Oh, Domestic Dan is on. Okay. If not, Domestic Dan is on... Um, Kawaii Guy's on, um, Black Oni's on, doing just chatting. Actually, Hunter, we have not had a chance to raid Hunter Wild in a while, or ever. Hunter is playing Dave the Diver, which DJ played a lot of. Hopefully I'll get to see Hunter when I'm in town. Um, Valistea. Valistean Ash Raid. Long raid call, but we've done a lot today, so... Y'all have a good afternoon, evening. I'm gonna figure out food, and then if I do decide to stream again, I may switch back to Tears of the Kingdom. I shall. I'm going to get food. I'm going to see what I have. I bought groceries earlier, so I'm going to try to be good and not order in either. But uh, have a good one, y'all, and I'll see you later. Bye.